Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Darren and I'm going to show you how to log in to your iCloud on a Windows machine. Maybe perhaps you scrub your computer clean and you reloaded Windows and then you try to log into your iCloud and now you get this continuous loop. So you try to sign on and on one of your iPads or your iPhone or even another Mac you have to say do you agree do you authorize the sign sign on and then you, you have this six digit number that you need to plug in as a verification I'm gonna show you a way to log in to your iCloud okay what you guys are looking at here is this is my Dell XPS 17 laptop we're going to demonstrate a continuous loop so I want to type in my my password for the iCloud okay all right the password is typed and sign in and what you're seeing on my camera is my MacBook Pro it is uh, an old one so here it is so this is where you need to allow the um, access to verify your Apple ID. So you allow, and then you get a number, correct? So you're going to type in that number. This is what a typical person would do. All right, so you type in that number, and it's going to try to authenticate. It's going to... Um, you know, validate who you are. So now on your Mac, book, Mac, book Pro, or iPad, or or your um, iPhone, you're going to click done. So now that's done. So this is what a lot of people are experiencing: is this loop. It fails to log on. So I'm just going to let it run here. This is uh, real time and no editing on like uh, fast forwarding. So this is real time and let's see what happens here. You should get a fail. There we go. So I got a fail or sometimes it goes right back to the login screen, right? So this is the fix. How do I fix it? Like this. That same password, it's uh, already populated. Click sign in. Okay, now on your Apple product, do not click allow. Say don't allow. Okay? And then it's going to ask you, do you want to change your password? Don't change. You don't need to. All right. Now here on the Apple ID verification code, click didn't get a verification code. Click on that. Let me try to click on it again. Okay, so this is important. So you didn't get the code. Verification codes are sent to the device running iOS 10 or Mac OS version 10.12 or later. You can send a new code or use your trusted phone number. So I don't want to use a new code. Let's text yourself, okay? So Highlight text code and that's your phone number and then continue. Let's see what happens. All right, that's my phone. So I got a text on my telephone and they tell you, you say, don't share it with anyone. Well, shoot. Well, I'm, I'm sharing it with you guys. I, it's only a one time code and it's going to change anyway, right? So I'm going to put in that six digit code okay so now it's authenticating what's going to happen you're going to get the 
Windows iCloud to pop up. Now you have the iCloud. This is the iCloud app that you download from the uh, Microsoft Store. <laughs> so yeah. forth. That's what it is. So also to prove that it's working, you go to your file manager and in the file manager, you have the actual iCloud drive itself. You see it here, all those on the iCloud drive. There you have it. I hope you were able to get yours to, uh, to log on properly. So the basic thing is do not allow it and then send it by other methods of authenticating who you are, such as sending that six digit code to a trusted phone number. Hey guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe, click on that like button and also that notification bell so you get notified on new videos I post. My name is Darren and I'll catch you on the next video.